at you with yet another DJ's Brew Tube beer review. And today we're going north of the border, guys. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Oh, Canada. Okay, that's enough. British Columbia, Canada. Here's our Canadian flag for all of those that don't understand the Canadians. Johnny's watched hey. lots of hockey. Take off, eh? Bob and Doug. Uh, we're, we got Phillips. Uh, Brewing Company of Victoria, Canada, like I said, that we got Black Jackal Imperial Coffee Stout. And this beer was sent to us by our buddy Brad at Brews Under Review. This was part of our beer trade because obviously they don't distribute this beer around here. So, what, what are the stats on this one? So uh, we got 8% ABV and we got a question mark for IBUs. Who knows? And we've got about 2% jazz coffee, whichever that is. I guess it's like Starbucks, eh? Canadian that, yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, 2% jazz, whatever. Uh, that's, that's a weird name. Oh, Flag with but, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Anyways, Phyllis Brewing, um, they're pretty popular up in Canada. They're supposed to do really good stuff. This one was only brewed once that I know of. Exactly. And <laughs> it's a limited release Imperial Coffee Stout. So the last point of reference I've had to this is the... Um, Imperial Russian Stout Espresso version from Stone. So, I guess we've nothing left to do but Burn. pop the top. Nice hiss, lots Jeez. of smoke. I don't have my toque. Eh? That's right. <laughs> it's middle of summer and I don't have my summer toque. Nice bomber. Oh, nice. Super dark. <laughs> it's funny, we're drinking beer from north of the border and there's people upstairs from south of the border yakking away. <laughs> It's like we can hear them. Maybe we need to go farther north. That's why we're down here. <laughs> yeah, we're south it's, of the border drinking north of the border. It's safe down here. So, mm, no light coming through this bad boy. It's a Canadian winter. Exactly. Super dark head. Uh, maybe mm, three quarters fingers. Um, super tight bubbles when you swirl it. Get plenty of alcohol legs and lacing. Nice looking beer. It's getting an aroma on this bad boy. See this, eh? Wow, coffee well, up in your face. Look, when you're done, you get like a little mouse and you stick it in the box. Oh, just too much Bob and Doug, eh? <laughs> get free beer. Johnny's watched Strange Brew one a time. lot. One time. One time, yeah, one time too many. <laughs> He's memorized most of the dialogue. Mainly coffee, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, a little bit of caramel. And it's, um, it smells like cold brewed coffee. Tastes like a cold coffee. Let's see what we got. A little thin cold coffee. Yeah, that is thin. A little metallic tasting, too. A tad bit, I would say. But there, there's something at the... You, you get that good coffee... I, I, I mean, you get a good coffee flavor at the very back end. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you do get like the metallic and very thin feel to your mouth. But you, that's, that's the one part that's off-putting to me is that metallic taste. It's not heavy. It's actually a decent hot weather stout for its thinness. Yeah. You know what? It drinks like a foreign export stout, not an imperial stout. You know, I wonder if it's still too chilled. I don't know. We could let it warm up. You want to do that? We'll yeah. come back? Yeah, let's do that. All right, guys. We'll be back. We're going to let it warm up, see We're if that changes it. We're going to put some on it to see if, like, you know, it warms it up from the winter time, eh? Exactly. Back in a flat. We're back, eh? Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've let this warm up for a little bit and chatted about other beers and all beer geekiness and stunt drinkiness and reminiscing about drunk times. And uh, we're going to take another shot at this. So, as it warms up, um, the metallic taste that I tasted initially goes away. That happens sometimes. Um, the, the coffee flavors come up. A little bit of the alcohol comes up, but you expect that with an 8% beer, not a problem. I like it better now that it's warmed up than I was cold. If I would have given a judgment cold, <laughs> if I would have given a judgment hey, at cold. At least I'm not drinking your beer tonight. That's right. At least you're not drinking my beer tonight. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Um, yeah, drinking my beer first. Um, anyways, you, you talk now. I'm going to taste some more. Uh, you know, I, I like it. It's a good beer. Like I said, the metallic taste has gone away a little bit. Uh, what I like about this is 
it's a coffee flavor it's not a burnt coffee flavor sometimes when you get these coffee stouts it's a burnt taste burnt flavor that you get from the coffee to me this is a cold coffee and i'm not a big fan of my coffee going cold i'll put it back in the microwave but you know this is this is good coffee flavor whether it's that jazz coffee whatever jazz is if it's a bean or if it's a coffee shop there in british columbia it, it's good it's a little thin stout regular stout we were saying for an extra stout kind of like with coffee in it um but it's not a bad beer for me I, I i do like it if i were up in canada you know this might be something i, I would pursue so to me it like like johnny's saying it, it drinks like a foreign ex export stout that's a little bit higher in strength it's kind of to me yeah like a guinness foreign extra that's a little bit higher in alcohol that's been had a coffee addition put to it um it drinks good uh grade wise what do, the, what do we got on this one well right beer slammed it 62 because they're not hey, canadians eh? hey right beer fuck off right beer <laughs> yeah um beer advocate gave it an 84 i think that's a fair grade for me I, i'm 80 yeah. 82 give it a b b minus it, it's it's just uh you know i've had like we were talking about 6.3 beans <clears throat> Love that's theirs. A it's a porter too but definitely better flavor better taste better mouthfeel all all around mm -hmm. um I, I just, I do like the coffee taste to this. I do have to give it props for that. It's not a burnt coffee. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a B, too. I think it's a good beer. You can tell it's made with care and good ingredients. Um, I don't know if I'd seek it out ne necessarily again because I've had I've had better coffee flavor stouts, but it is a really good beer. And, Brad, just because we're bagging on a little bit does not mean that we don't appreciate you bringing this to us or no. sending it down. We're really happy to have tried it. Plus, I can obsessively collect yet another crown cap for my five bags now ziploc bags of crowns <laughs> he's a freaking hoarder in every sense of the word hey beer beer caps yeah beer bottle by the way in the boxes behind all of us those are all filled with beer yeah. so more reviews are coming because there ain't no empty spaces in those boxes so i need to move in next door <laughs> exactly and what you guys need to do is think globally and drink globally Lo local yeah whatever <laughs> We're drinking globally. This is Canada. Oh, that's right. We're crossing right. the border. No, but we're drinking locally because we're in my basement. <laughs> we're supporting the craft beer movement. This is a craft brewer. And it's Canadian. We're helping them grow. And we're helping the U.S. and Canadian governments grow because both... You know, Canadian and U.S. relations are all-time low, eh? Well, but we play... We, <laughs> trust me, we paid we're, major... We're beer ambassadors. We, we paid major coin to ship said beer to each other because they ain't cheap. Yes, you did. But yes, exactly, I did. <laughs> Anyways, guys, to the next EJ Proof Tube, we appreciate each and every one of you. And until then, you that's a bit... beer from Canada, Ireland, Somalia? Let us know. We'll, you're, you're, we'll just a, it. you're just a beer whore. Yeah. Yeah. He, see, proud. Let me get Any... my beer whore lipstick on. <laughs> Peace out.